Apple Cup week. Uh, you feel the the kind of buzz on the field, buzz in the locker room right now? Yes, sir. It's it's a it's a great opportunity to go show who we are once again. Um, looking forward to Saturday and playing another game um, and making sure we're just doing what we're supposed to do. Could you just talk through kind of the approach to a rivalry game and rivalry week? I'm, you know, obviously you want to treat games like the same, but that's probably kind of impossible here. Do you, do you kind of embrace the, uh, the, you know, sort of the, the Apple Cup rivalry stuff? Honestly, we focus on the main thing. Um, yes, it's the Apple Cup. Yes, it's a rivalry game. But we're also focused on making sure we're doing our job and executing. So uh, we approach this week like we approach every week, um, making sure that we come out, uh, practice hard, uh, making sure we're doing our job, and that's pretty much it. What seems to be the most important? Uh, the, or what can't the what what can the defense not afford to do against the it, such an explosive passing game like Washington has? Make mistakes, making simple mistakes. Um, just like every week, uh, if defense busts in coverage, then obviously that's shown uh, with big yards and stuff like that. But just not making mistakes, um, and that's on both sides of the ball. That's not just defense, but on both sides of the ball, we just can't make make. A whole bunch of mistakes, just executing, just like every week. And, and Coach Deckert's talked a lot about you guys, you know, improved pass coverage and, and, and things like that. Kind of as the years gone on and, and coming off, of, how good is it to be, be coming off a game like like last week where you play like the number seven passing offense in the nation? You have four picks, and what was that do for your guys' confidence going into now playing the number one? pass offense honestly we came out and did our job so it made us feel good that what we shown in practice um turned over into the game so as long uh as long as we was doing that as you see it turned over in the game so we uh we feel good about it and right now we're just building on top of that we're not letting that uh setting us back and you know sitting on our coattails now we're still working I take it a lot of you guys are creatures of habit and you like to stay in that same routine, but you know, no classes this week. How are you using that extra time if all? Are, are you, you know, just trying to relax and stay within that routine or studying a little more film that you got, you know, don't have to worry about studying? Honestly, uh, the second part that you said, studying more film, uh, getting in and knowing the guys, personnel uh, a lot more, and making sure that we're getting our academics in too because that, that plays a big part in this week. So just catching up on academics and then, uh, yeah, get in the film room a lot more. And then what what have you noticed about uh, this UW offense that maybe is more unique from the other offenses that you face this season? Um, they do what they do. They uh, they, they pass the ball, obviously. Um, they're top in the country for passing the ball. Uh, much respect to them. They're a good, good offense. So just making sure that we, you know, give that respect, but also making sure that we come in ready to play. Uh, obviously, you guys snapped the Apple Cup losing streak last season. How much pride do you take in potentially starting a streak of your own this year? Um, I mean, obviously, it would be nice, obviously, but um, we're just making sure that we go one and out each week. Uh, we're not too worried about all the outside, uh, the outside sources, so to say with uh, keeping streaks and stuff like that because that just gets in people's minds and all we need to do is just stay focused for this game. And being a Coug, what does this game mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Um, there's a lot of people that came here before me that set the foundation and set the ground for what Cougs do and what and how hard Cougs play. So um, making sure that I'm representing this jersey and this cat that's on you know my jersey to the utmost and full respect to the guys who uh, laid it down before I came here. So, Travion, I know you're a California guy, but you've been in a few of these Apple Cups before. Just tell me, I mean, what does this game usually bring out, whether it's in you or in this team? I got to say it brings out a lot more grit um, just because we know, like I said, the the foundation that the guys before us uh, built, uh, that Cougar pride that we hit uh, before we go out, uh, before we got out of the tunnel, that, that symbolizes so much to the team and it brings so much pride to our team to where we play Coug football. So that just brings that grit out of us. So I know it's Tuesday, but I mean, what's the message been from Coach Ben? Is, is, is there a different feeling for this week? Um, Coach Ben preaching the same thing. Uh, he preaches every week. We obviously know the opponent that's coming in. Uh, we got to make sure that we're executing on both sides of the ball, uh, all phases of the ball, actually, and just making sure that we're doing our jobs and we'll see results.